Hello, I'm Ava. And I'm Ebony. And I'm Raya. And today on BBC School News Report at Eltham Hill School, we are celebrating Fair Trade Fortnight and what impacts the new fair trade changes have on our school. One of the main changes we have experienced is the new Fair Trade Tuck Shop opened by members of the school council. The store offers a range of fair trade produce and teaches students to be mindful of where their food is coming from and where their money goes. Some of the things that the store offers are juice, coffee, hot chocolate and fruit. First we interviewed students and teachers who were involved with the tuck shop to see their thoughts. We're here with Mr Baker to interview him about the fair trade tuck shop. So you are in charge of the fair trade. Um, do you think it's going well? I believe it's going very well. Uh, we hold Fair Trade Tuck Shop that is available every Tuesday and Friday. We sell lots of things on there, so we sell lots of things like this chocolate, our Fair Trade chocolate, of course, bananas, we sell tea, coffee, um, juices that are all available, all Fair Trade. It's becoming very popular with the students. Do you think it benefits the school? How does it benefit? I think it benefits the school tremendously. Um, it brings just awareness to what the Fair Trade organisation is about um, what they do, what they stand for, who they represent really. And um, before I, I started all this, I done a survey saying, do you know what the Fair Trade organisation is about? Even the logo of the Fair Trade. And not a lot of students knew anything about Fair Trade. Since we've been doing this, we've brought the awareness, and now students know what this organisation is about. And I feel that is a success. Okay. And then, is there any items you would like to have as Fair Trade but don't have? There's lots of items I'd, I'd love to have fair trade. I mean, for instance, if you're wearing a school uniform, we can make that fair trade. We can wear, we can use uh, fair trade cotton. We can make fair trade jumpers for the whole school. Every single child can then be buying into that fair trade organisation by just simply wearing their school uniform. Um, we have PE. PE. We have footballs. We can make fair trade footballs. But the possibilities really are endless. We can make fair trade everywhere. Uh, the Fair Trade Tuck Shop runs Tuesday at break and Friday at break. It used to only be at Fridays at break, however, it became really popular so we decided to introduce um, it at Tuesdays as well. Okay. Do you think people are more likely to buy food from a Fair Trade Tuck Shop or a normal Tuck Shop? Um, I think obviously Fair Trade products cost more, like a lot, a lot more sometimes, but I think being fair trade is really important for our environment and for the economy of the world. So I think if people take that into account, then I think they more likely buy from a fair trade tuck shop. Okay. And then where does the money you gain go? Uh, the money we gain, obviously some of it must go for some new supplies that we buy, like extra, you know, mm, chocolate bars and stuff so we can keep the process going. However, any extra money we earn goes to farmers around the world that create these products for us. We also interviewed students and teachers who buy from the tuck shop. As well as this, we interviewed the principal to get an overall idea of the future fair trade plans for the school. Do you go to the fair trade tuck shop? Yeah, I go every Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. And um, do you think it benefits the school? Yeah, it makes you more aware of what you're buying um, and where you're spending your money. Yeah, because usually people just buy chocolate bars without reading the ingredients, but with this Fair Trade Tuck Shop, you sort of know what's in them and why you should buy it. Yeah. Do you think students and teachers would buy different things from the Fair Trade Tuck Shop? Yes, I think they would, but I also think perhaps the school could advertise them a little bit more so staff and students know what's being sold in the Fair Trade Tuck Shop. Okay, and do you think the Fair Trade Tuck Shop benefits the school? How? Yes, it definitely benefits students and the school because it promotes the understanding of fair trade and how we should be thinking about buying foods that are produced in a fair trade way. And do you think it has a good variety of food? Uh, I think, similar to my first question, I think that we could have some more, but I actually think that perhaps needs to be a bit of research done by students on what teachers and, and students want to eat. Okay. Do you go to the fair trade tuck shop? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you think they have a good variety of foods for everyone to buy? Um, kind of. There's a lot of sweet stuff. Yeah. I would do more drinks because yeah. there's only like apple juice and orange juice. Um, yeah. Do you think it benefits the whole school? Um, 
Yes, I think. I think once they got the uh, finger yeah. print, it, it helped quite a lot. Is there anything they that would be could be improved with the fair trade tuck shop? Well, the drinks. We More said. people serving. Cause yes, it's quite, it's quite a long line. Long. Yeah. Do you think it's just the students who work in the tuck shop or the teachers as well? I think it would be predominantly, if we're thinking about fair trade products from the tuck shop, it would be predominantly the students. Um, I think our staff are fairly aware of fair trade issues. Uh, I mean, like myself, every time I go to the supermarket, I will always look and buy fair trade products. But I don't go to the tuck shop. And um, do you think it benefits the school and then how? I think, I think it's part of our ethics, actually, and I think it's part, part of our philosophy of this school. Um, I think uh, thinking about where our food comes from or where any of our products come from and who we are working with and supporting across the globe in a kind of an ethical fashion, yeah, I think it really benefits us because I think it involves us in the discussion and the debate around about fair trade products. And do you think there's a difference in what the students and the teachers would buy from the top shop? Well, yes, we because you're selling the fair trade coffee in the top in the tuck shop as well. And I was, I would probably hazard a guess that more more adults will buy that than than uh, younger people do because probably more adults will drink that sort of coffee. So yes, I think there will probably be a difference, but because just because there's a difference in the products as we go through, what we might all be be interested in is whether we're an adult or a, a young adult. Okay. Do you think it's efficient in how it's working? Well, it's only in its infancy, isn't it? It's only just started. So I probably not want to hazard a guess at that one at this stage. But I do know that um, you know Mr. Baker is really working hard with a group of students to try and bring more and more of that fair trade into our whole kind of catering system. Um, and I think what we'll do is we will evaluate that probably June or July and have a look at that and think of think together how we might improve that and increase those sales. Is there anything else throughout the school that you um, would want to make fair trade? For example, Mr Baker said the school uniforms could be made fair trade. Yes, and uh, you know I think there's a whole range of things that we can expand out. We started with the food um, and we're looking at that in, in a great deal. But of course that opens up your eyes into ethical businesses and what sort of businesses we might want to support and who might use fair trade products. Um, so I'm hoping that that opens it all out and for us. But yes, there's uniform. We have a whole lot of suppliers in school from a range of, of different things. And you know, we might give preference now. The fair trade tuck shop is efficient and quickly moving forward. The school is hoping to expand the use of fair trade items throughout many different lessons. Thank you for watching BBC School Report. I'm Raya. I'm Ebony. And I'm Ava, reporting from Alton Hill School.